Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automation revolution. In this video, we are going to learn about speed set point from Siemens starter software. So in our previous video, we have seen motor potentiometer, uh, fixed set point and how to configure uh, digital or analog input output, uh, how to make a commissioning from the starter and then uh, we will go further. Uh, today, very important topic uh, to control the speed, a uh, speed set point we will see from this uh, Siemens starter. So, uh, after configuring this input and output so here you can see uh, digital input 0 I have assigned for on off input uh, number 1 uh, we have assigned for set point inversion and input 2 for fault acknowledgement then we will switch into a speed set point and here we will get graphical representation for the system so you can see here uh, we are getting two uh, additional analog channel to control the speed the first is main set point analog channel and here we will get additional set point channel for second analog input and here we will get main set point scaling and additional set point scaling so you can see we can change the speed from both the analog input and uh, based on the scaling percentage we can get accurate uh, speed so when uh, we need very accurate uh, speed control so in that case we can use this speed set point option so First, we will assign analog input with main set point and additional set point. So, the parameter number IR755, uh, I will assign first analog input. And here uh, you can get the scaling. So, we will go for further connection. And you can see here we will get uh, many options uh, to give the speed set point uh, as per the percentage. So, right now uh, we will keep. Uh, main set point as a uh, hundred percent and uh, second additional set point we will configure second analog input so that parameter number r seven double five analog input one we will configure here and uh, from this additional set point uh, we can assign the percentage of the scaling as per requirement so we will keep here five percentage right now here uh, we have option jog1 and in downside we have option so you can uh, connect here uh, digital input for direction of rotation reversal and uh, you can set jog mode here we can assign maximum rpm uh, to the motor and uh, right now we are online mode so we don't need to download so automatically uh, this data will be transported into drive now uh, we will see practically how it uh, works so first i will enable a digital input and then uh, i will change main set, uh, set point so i will enable this drive and i am changing main set point so from the main set point uh, we will get maximum 100% uh, output and uh, if you want to change uh, from the additional set point so i will vary right now and you can see the maximum rpm from the additional set point we will get uh, only 5% uh, percentage addition into uh, final rpm so you can see here that uh, we will get only 5% of that rpm and uh, here we will get maximum 100% rpm uh, addition in uh, this uh, final set point so after assigning a main set point and additional set point from the starter uh, we have downloaded program in Siemens G120 drive and we'll see practically how we can change the speed uh, from both the analog uh, input so first I will enable the drive from this digital input and uh, here we have two analog port the first analog port is main set point and the second analog port we have for additional set point so now I will change the speed from first analog input. So total uh, we will get 100% output from this uh, main set point because we have uh, made scaling 100% for the main set point. And uh, if you want fine tuning, so we can use second analog input. So from there we will get 5% uh, input from this additional set point. So we can use both analog input 
to uh, vary the speed very accurately and uh, we can make speed tuning from both the analog input so this is how we can change uh, speed from speed set point and we can maintain speed very accurately so thank you very much for watching the video